In this video, we will demonstrate the distal radio ulna joint test or DRUJ test for the distal radio ulna joint ligaments. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. While most commonly the SL ligament and TFCC are affected in wrist ligament injuries, the wrist is a complex region and requires thorough assessment as missed ligament injuries may result in persistent pain, instability and reduced grip force and range of motion, and could lead to early onset osteoarthritis. Prosa et al. in 2011 evaluated the DRUJ test on its diagnostic accuracy and report a positive likelihood ratio of 1.79 and negative likelihood ratio of 0.3 when compared with arthroscopy findings, making it at most mildly useful in excluding an injury, but overall the test has a weak clinical value. To conduct the test, the patient's forearm is in neutral rotation and the examiner stabilizes the distal radius and hand as one unit with a firm grip. The other hand then grasps the distal ulna and forces it into dorsal and palmar direction relative to the radius. This procedure is repeated in relative supination and pronation. This stability of the distal radio ulna joint is compared to the uninjured wrist and marked laxity as well as the reproduction of the patient's painful symptoms indicate a positive test. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. This test will find its way into our assessment ebook and mobile app, allowing you to quickly access any and all orthopedic assessments at uni or directly in the clinic. Check the links in the video description down below for more. Last but not least, if you liked this video, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the like button. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I will see you in another video. Bye.